Hey guys, it's Jesse. I'm just going to give you an update. I got my knife blanks uh, back from Great Lakes Water Jet, and uh, I'm very uh, happy with the results. Um, first, I'll start off with the big one. Uh, this one's 9 inches overall. Um, you can see it's cut in a tanto uh, point, but I'm going to be doing uh, uh, spear point on these as well as tanto and I'll be doing uh, chisel ground as well as V grind and I might try some uh, spanto grinds and uh, some recurves and um, you're going to also notice that there is a harpoon on here um, I'm going to remove that on some of these I'll just make them without it but I plan on using uh, the harpoon on most of the knives I grind um, but that is pretty much the blade and then you have the handle here um, I did design this to be pretty ergonomic and it fits the hand really really well so I'm very happy with how that turned out you can see your fingers all fit in right there nice grip and I made some scales already too um, and just to just to get a feel of how it would be with scales on it um, just some G10 and uh, the G10 adding that extra thickness really makes it feel that much better um, but I'm very happy I think these will be sweet once I get them ground but right now I'm going to send them to uh, heat treat and um, we'll have to go from there another quick look I think I'm going to be doing a satin finish on most of these uh, hand rubbed satin finish um, I'm going to try black oxide I think uh, get a kit ordered and see if I can't do that on a few and uh, maybe some bead blast not quite for sure but definitely a lot of satin finish one last look and uh, these obviously being fixed blades will be ambidextrous and now with the smaller blade you guys have seen this before I just got a bunch of them cut this time instead so I didn't have to profile them all myself nice little cutter here it's four inches overall these are just going to be little neck knives and I think what I'm going to do is um, try something a little different that I haven't really seen before. I'm going to put a pocket clip that's actually on the knife and it's going to just sheath like a fixed blade but it's going to have a pocket clip and being it's so small the sheath and the knife can both fit in your pocket and you'll be able to just clip it right in your pocket and uh, uh, for easy access. I don't think I've really ever seen anything like that and with that you'll be able to carry this further in your pocket um, rather than clipping it with the actual sheath onto your pocket so it'll just look like there's a folder there but it's actually a fixed blade um, and I think that'll go over quite nicely these will be in chisel ground as well as a standard V grind and then we will do a spear point as well as the tanto and I'm going to do quite a few in spanto grind as well um, so that'll be the configurations for this. I have uh, for handle material I've got carbon fiber, G10, and micarta on order right now um, so we'll definitely see a nice variety um, in the handles and on these smaller ones I'm going to do a few with uh, cord wrap so and when I do cord wrap what I do is I like to uh, grind down where the handle is going to be I like to uh, take out a little uh, ridge of steel all the way down the knife on both sides and give it so that the cord is flush with the actual blade um, I think it looks a lot better and it definitely feels a lot better that way um, that's how I like to do it and I think it just uh, overall plus when you cord wrap knives so
pretty sweet knives, I think. They turned out real good. Um, once I get back from heat treat, I'll definitely get grinding as soon as I can and pump out of it as many of these as I possibly can. Uh, pr planning on getting a couple more orders from Great Lakes Water Jet. I have a few more designs. Um, I'm going to do a knife uh, somewhat similar. It's going to be a cross between these two, but it's going to have a ring. It's going to be a uh, knife like this with a ring on your ring finger and it'll just be three fingers here but it'll have a bigger blade than this and I think it'll have a harpoon like this one so it'll be like a uh, four inch blade with a uh, ring on the ring finger and just this kind of a handle and um, I think those will turn out pretty cool I'm gonna make a prototype out of G10 pretty soon and see how it feels and uh, hopefully I can start making a bunch of those and um, I'm trying to design a karambit as well so uh, get a karambit design out there um, oh and one last thing with this bigger one um, beans I have a nice big blade on here I'm gonna do a couple with a uh, Warncliffe blade um, there's plenty of blade on here so um, even with a Warncliffe blade, the blade will still be uh, larger than the handle. So um, that's one thing I like to look at too is proportions. So you don't want your knife to look weird, you know. Even if it has functionality, you want it to have a pretty good appearance as well. Um, but that's pretty much all I have for you tonight. Um, hope you liked looking at my new designs, and I will get these out there as soon as I can. I have a total of 50 cut, or not quite 50, I have 47 cut um, in total of these two knives. So I have a whole bag of the small ones. Uh, there's 27 in here. And then I have a whole bunch of the uh, big ones in a box. So I have quite a lot of work to do ahead of me. Um, I got a bunch of new tools. I have a Kydex press. I have a rivet, rivet press. Um, I got an acid engraver. Um, what else do I have? I've just been getting quite a few new tools, so um, be able to do pretty much everything here from my house. So it'll be pretty cool. Um, also, I'll be doing custom Kydex work once I get caught up with these knives. I'll be um, doing kydex worth so if anybody needs a sheath made or anything um, I will definitely help you out there um, and I think I'm gonna try to start doing custom scales as well I've been uh, modifying knives as you all know and I've been doing some uh, custom scales on various knives I've, I own I'll have to make some videos but that's going pretty well so I might start doing that a little bit on the side too along with uh, knife making so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, I will update you on how my knives are going and um, I don't think I'm going to be ordering any uh, new knives for quite a while being since I'm occupied with my own but uh, I will keep you updated with these and keep doing reviews on my current collection that I have we have a long ways to go before we review everything so that's good um, uh, once again keep you updated and take care guys I will see you next time